Righty ho. Um, you'll have to excuse some elements of this video because I'm shooting the video while uh, operating the machine. So sometimes uh, it's a little bit hard to do two things at once or hold your hand at the same time. So the first thing I've done is I have my piece of um, MDF here that I'm going to do my vector engraving to. Now hopefully you can see I've made a little cross here in the middle of my work. Now just to show where I'm going to go, that there, if you can just see the cross here, hopefully that's going to focus. Just uh, just there, where the point is pointing. There's a, that's where I want this uh, cross here to be focused. Um, I'll make sure it works. So I'll go put my wood into the laser cutter. Slide the rail out of the way. And put the wood there nice and flat. Power it up. So I make a really annoying noise. The next thing I want to do is, now that that is the material, I want to set the height of my, uh, set the height of my bed. So what I do here, so this is my 20mm piece of plastic, and we've got this lift switch here that lifts, let's see this. So I'm going to turn to the left, it moves up. And let's check. Try again. And I want to get it just, that's probably a little bit too high. And it'll just pass underneath. Cool. Set it here. I can't actually wiggle it up and down. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, when I've got the switch on, is I'm going to power on the laser cutter. So, let's power that home. And because over here I had as my centre, comes into focus, I had refer X. As you can see, unfortunately, you can't mind where it's at. Refer X here 199, refer Y 150. That's where it has moved the head to. Now, this red light here with the laser cutter, the laser is switched off. So I can now move the clock here, which right in the middle of where my pointer is going to go. So now I know it's going to engrave where I want it to engrave. Uh, the next thing I'll do is I'll uh, shut, my, shut my lid on this. I can now power my laser engraver on. So let's just flip the switch here, so it switches the laser itself on. When that comes on, you'll see the power button here. So it's saying that's a 45% power. Um, because I'm only doing an engrave, or a vector a, um, a vector cut, I can just get the, um, the power down really low. So we'll go minus 10, minus 10, minus 10, and I reckon we'll probably go minus 10 again. Probably 5% will be great for what we're going to do here. So next thing is I'll come across back to here uh, and on the computer. Um, I've already got my settings here and I'll just click starting. And hopefully you can see a little bit of a line. Now if it turned out to be slightly too light we think oh that's actually not powerful enough. What I can do here is I can go to the power even while it's moving and I can up my power to 10%, another 10%. So hopefully now, you should be able to see it's actually making the lines darker as it goes. Obviously that creates a little bit more smoke. And basically that will carry on right around the outside of the shape until it's finished. 